Qatar is reportedly set to host a prisoner exchange between Iran and the U.S. A Qatar and Egypt initiative will see a new hospital set up in Sudan. The UAE at last names its first envoy to Qatar since the 2017 GCC crisis. And what perks is Neymar expecting as part of his El Hilal contract? Stick around to find out. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching the Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Reports claim Iran and the U.S. will conduct a milestone prisoner swap in Qatar for the first time. While this has yet to be publicly confirmed by authorities, it was reported by insider sources who spoke to Amwaj. The report comes after Qatar confirmed its role in mediating between the two adversaries to step towards the prisoner swap. If it goes ahead, Qatar would host the exchange for the first time. In previous cases, such swaps between Washington and Tehran were held in Oman, Switzerland, or the United Arab Emirates. For the full report, head over to our website. Over in Sudan, a joint Qatari-Egyptian plan will see the establishment of a new hospital. The initiative is a crucial response to the critical shortage of medical services and supplies in the country due to the ongoing conflict. Sudan has faced months of violence that has killed hundreds of civilians. Qatar has played a pivotal role in providing aid to the country and has facilitated a number of airlifts to rescue civilians from the conflict. In other news, the United Arab Emirates has officially named Sheikh Zayed bin Khalifa Al Nahyan as its ambassador to Qatar. The announcement on Monday comes six years after Abu Dhabi severed all diplomatic and trade ties with Doha during the 2017 GCC crisis. The move comes just weeks after Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani appointed Dr. Sultan Saeed Al Mansouri as Doha's ambassador to the Emirates, marking the final steps in the resumption of ties between the neighboring countries. And finally, Neymar's contract with Saudi's Al Hilal could potentially stand out as one of the largest deals in terms of salary and perks. According to Foot Mercato, the Brazilian is expected to enjoy a plane on demand, a huge mansion with staff at the ready, and a major bonus every time Al Hilal wins. That, of course, is alongside his annual $219 million contract. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.